Welcome to TMI. Don't do drugs. Drugs thing. In March 2016, a police department in Texas posted a special warning on its Facebook page, asking people if they had purchased drugs from a local woman. They warned that the drugs may contain Ebola, and if they had some, they should bring it to the local sheriff or police station. The message was a sham. However, a young woman responded stating that it was her duty to bring a stash of drugs in for inspection. She was arrested. Cell phone contact. When police in Vancouver, Canada, asked to search a local man's apartment for drugs, he was not a suspect. As a matter of fact, they were looking for someone else. That all changed when they looked at how his name was detailed on his cell phone along with the notation drug dealer. Unsatisfactory high. Three drug thieves illegally got in a house located in Silver Springs, Florida. The three found three containers they thought were loaded with cocaine. Without hesitation, they transported the drugs to their house and proceeded to inhale the substance. It was at this minute that they understood the containers were not really holding cocaine. They were holding instead the ashes of the house owner's departed husband and two pet dogs, which they had actually been accidentally snorting. Elevator exit. On March 16, 2013 in Florida, a 31-year-old man known for using drugs and drinking in excess fell to his death in Tampa. The man decided to force the doors open of an elevator and leap to catch the cables. The man quickly lost his grip and plunged down the shaft to seven stories below where he broke his neck. The incident was ruled an accident. His motive for his stunt is unknown. Hide and seek with a bulldozer. On July 9, 2018 in Pennsylvania, a dozen hidden pot plants were found by a county maintenance worker. He immediately called the police. What ensued was a deadly game of hide-and-seek with a bulldozer. Two suspicious men were lurking nearby. When a vice officer reached the foul-smelling weed garden, one of the suspects in the case gave himself up, but the other fled. With the help of helicopter surveillance, the vice officer and the maintenance worker hopped onto a bulldozer and started to doze through the nearby shrubbery. Search efforts failed to root out the man, so the vice officer halted the earth-moving machine and hopped off to scan the area. That is when the male suspect was discovered lying dead on the ground behind the bulldozer. Ashes to Ashes In Missouri in 2014, a gang of thieves stole from a residential property. One of the thieves served as a lookout while the other two would look for high-ticket items. They took more than $800 in money, a necklace worth $500, a tablet worth $800, and several Xbox PC gaming consoles. They also took several prescription bottles that had morphine and oxycodone, in addition to what they thought to be a box of cocaine. However, the box did not contain cocaine, but the ashes of the homeowner's father. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content like this.